Hello friends, I am Kailash. So welcome to an another exciting tutorial. And today we'll be learning the N particle. Here we'll be creating the fire effects. Okay, so let's begin. So here we have one character with us and he's doing some action to it and we have added some light to it, okay? Okay, to add the particles to the hand, what I'm going to do is I'm going to select the faces but before that I'm going to switch off the joints so I can easily select the faces so I've just selected the faces and if I press 5 so you can see this and we don't want that much okay so I'm just going to decrease it using control and we don't want from here also we just want wrist okay okay so I'm just going to duplicate the faces so we don't accidentally animating the particle from the entire body for that I'm just going to search for the duplicate okay and inside here I'm just going to offset it to point two and I'm just going to click on duplicate so it's there with us okay okay object mode and we can just search thing is gone in okay so I'm just going to say negative point two negative point two okay so we can see and this particular character I'm going to add it into a layer and in the reference so I can easily select this thing same thing I'm going to do with this particular hand also but for um, uh, we are going to start with this particular hand only okay so the first step I'm just going to press 7 so we can see the lights 6 is going to load the texture and 7 is going to load the light okay so just press the 7 so you can see what's happening and now if you just press I'm just going to say to the reference mode so we can select the hand easily and I'm just pressing the 6 key and um, for the dynamics just go to FX section and inside here just search for the N particle system and inside N particle we have to emit the from the object and just reset setting whatever setting you have and just search for the surface and I'm going to increase the particle rate per second to 200 and for the dense in the particular particle I'm going to increase the scale rate by object size and I'm just going to click on the create icon and just search and just play and just check it out key what's happening so it's animating the thing on each and every second okay so it's happening nicely next I don't want that much particle I'm just going to activate the lifespan to the random branch and if you just search for if you just say 1 and 0.5 and if you check this now so particle should die after some time so we have to decrease it more like 2.2 and 0.1 and if you just check this now so we have smooth particle flow okay and we need to increase a little bit more density to it 
so for that we can increase the density afterward and I'm going to add some fill to it so I'm just going to select my particle I've selected my particle and um, if you just go to filled and solver and click on the air option icon and just set attenuation to zero and click on the create button so this will help us to move particle upward okay like that just make sure when you're working on the dynamics playback speed has to be play every frame max real time and if you just uh, go to the preference panel inside setting we have centimeter and degree and just search for the time slider here you can just search for the FPS so you can just increase the FPS a bit and if you just check this now so we have like more smooth particle okay and I'm just going I just want to increase the magnitude magnitude is the strength of the particle so I'm just increasing to let's say 20 I want particle to go up a bit so I'm just increasing this number okay so it's happening and uh, just search for the dynamic relationship just go to windows relationship editor dynamic relationship just to make sure key particle is connected to the air field yes it is connected just minimize that and we need to add one more field to it just select your particle and just search for field and solver turbulence and here I'm just going to decrease the attenuation to zero it is going to help us if you take attenuation to one it calculates the distance if you take it to zero it going to affect the entire world okay so and magnitude is a strength so I'm just going to increase it to 20 or 25 just click on the create option over here and now just play and check what is happening here If you press 7 so we can see with the light also so the particle is coming and it's having the dynamic attribute of air field and turbulence field and now we are going to play with the size and just search for the particle size over here and I'm just trying to just increase the particle radius a bit I'm just going to increase to 0.5 okay and from here just search for the shading icon just search for the shading and over here I want to decrease uh, okay decrease this opacity scale and just want to change the color and just want to change the color to the red plus little oranges take yellow and just take it to the little oranges and at last we want a little dark for smoke effect and here we want to increase a bit or decrease just check it out 0.5 point eight one and we're going to increase the randomization to point two 
so you can see the little randomization over here and uh, same we can just do with the opacity and little opacity this okay now just um, add a little bit of incandances so it is going to add a little bit of glow to the particle system so which color we want we're going to take almost same color red little bit of oranges and little bit of gray color little lighter gray color and if we take this to a normal age so you can see added the color and if we just increase it or you can take it to the speed and, and just check it out okay so now particle have more color to it and if you just play and check this so you can see you now what is happening okay so we want a little bit of little bit of dance so we can just play with this thing so i'm just want a little dense particle so I'm just going to increase the radius to 1 and ammeter I want to change to little less say 250 and if you just play and, and if you just play and check this now so it's going quite fine okay and instead of that particular light or we can add um, one more light over here and we can just uh, if you just go to the outline we can decrease the intensity of this particular lights so let's say 0 0.5 0 0.4 0 0.3 okay and I'm going to add one more light point light and uh, just go to the first frame and just check which hand this is the hand so I'm going to create one more light just click on create light just take a normal point light it's fine okay and from here just snap this particular light to the hand over here F okay and just little bit offset this okay like that and we don't want any kind of shadow from this particular light okay so, yeah. I'm just clicking on the vertex take any vertex and uh, just go to constraint and uh, click on the rivet inside Maya 2020 which you have new option of rept so you will find one locator connected to your um, surface so it is connected and this is going to help us to parent another object to it okay so we can say this is a child and we just shift select the locator and if you just parent it and if we see and just try to just select this and it's connected and just see it's moving together okay it's moving together right and now if I just press 7 so we can see the light effect over here and I'm just pressing ctrl A to activate the attribute and uh, just click on the attribute editor select your um, point light click on the attribute editor and now I'm just going to increase the intensity a bit and I'm going to change the color to oranges and inside here I want a little bit of dynamism 
flickering effect inside the intensity for that I'm just going to create a new expression okay for that you have to just simply right click and just click on the create new expression and whatever attributes you have point light shape one intensity just select that and use your middle mouse to just drag it and um, just click on equal to I'm just going to add a random command to it rent and I want between 5 and uh, 1 and just click on create and just check it it's working just close it this window and just check it's working fine it's flickering ah oh, yes it is flickering flickering okay if i press seven and just stop it press five six for loading texture seven for the light and now if you just uh, see this so you can see that effect so whenever you are using your fire effect just make sure using light also so it is going to add more realism to it okay Okay, just uh, go to outline huh? and uh, just search for that particular last light or you can just go to first frame and select from here also it is inside your point light 5 and now you can just change the color a little bit of reddish and it's fine diffuse spackler we don't want spackler to be affected or you can check the error you know how much it should go if i take a linear so it is going to be restricted to that particular uh, area only and i'm going to increase that um, value random value I'm just if I take from 15 to 1 if I say edit so you can see it is more dense now and it have it has a limited area or you can just say a quadratic or you can just um, say linear and now if we play and check so it is restricted to the to that particular area only it is not affecting the entire scene like that and you can increase the value if you want you can just increase the value so let's say 15 and i want it to end it to 4 or instead of 15 i can take 30 and click on add it close and if you just play and check this now so it is adding more dynamism to it thank you for watching so we'll see you on the next tutorial